Hey everybody, and welcome back to another Kraken Packs video. I am your host, Mr. Rivers. Welcome back to another One of Everything Wednesdays, where we're continuing off Comic World, a subsidiary of Comic Warehouse. So, the guys that own these shops own both of them. I don't know how long it's happened, like I explained in the last video. I have no, no idea about why they have two stores that are different names or whatever, but uh, let's go through what we're going to go open in this pack. If you didn't see the last video, you should definitely check it out. There was some pretty sweet pulls in there. We got a Dragons of Tarkir pack, Fate Reforged, Cons of Tarkir, Corset 2015, uh, Journey into Nyx, Born of the Gods, Theros, Dragon's Maze, and Return to Ravnica. So let's get in, and we're going to start with Dragons. So I think in here we're looking for any of the Dragon Lords, or like a collected company, or something along those lines. Those would be sweet things to open, to give away. Display of Dominance. Seismic Rupture. Dragonloft Idol. And our rare... A Sun-Scorched Regent. Big old dragon. And by that I mean pretty small dragon. A 4-3 flyer. Um, but whenever an opponent casts a spell, you put a 1-1 counter on this guy, so he gets bigger very quickly. Um, this is an interesting card to play in multiplayer formats because it's whenever an opponent casts a spell. So if you've got a number of opponents, he can get pretty big pretty quick. We got a garbage card and just a forest. Put that over there. Fate Reforged. Now we're looking for uh, Ugin, right? Obviously. Ooh, that pack. Those Fate Reforged packs come apart so easily. It's crazy. Um, or we're looking for a fetch land in the land slot, right? That's That was Fate Reforged did that. Renowned Weaponsmith. Mistfire Adept. Elite Scale Guard. Hey, we got an Ojitai, Soul of Winter. Not the uh, Dragon Lord, but uh, it is an Ojitai nonetheless. Legendary Dragon. 5-6, Flying Vigilance. Whenever a dragon you control attacks, tap target non-land permanent and opponent controls. That permanent doesn't untap during its controller's next untap step. This card was sweet in Limited. And just a regular old Swift Water Cliffs with a, with a morph token. The morph token off to the side over there. And we're on to cons. So now we're looking for fetch. Fetch in the rare slot. Right, that's what we're looking for. Can we find a fetch land in the rare slot? Oh, okay, we've or foil fetch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We got a foil card. Mardu Blazebringer. Armament Corp. Jeskai Elder. Oh, and our rare. Is it a land? It's not a land, it's multicolored. Oh, it's a Jeskai Ascendancy. This was, a, this was a popular card back when uh, Cons was being played in Standard. Um, also, I think it saw a bunch of play in Modern for a little while there because of the Mana Dork uh, ridiculous combo of like being able to kill someone with a Birds of Paradise, essentially. Um, you know, tap it for a mana, play a spell that costs one, untap it, it gets plus one, plus one. If you cast a non-creature spell, you can draw a card. If you do, discard a card. So you basically just, like, cycled through all of your lands and stuff by discarding them. And then you played cards that would, like, draw you for one and stuff and untap your dudes. We got a foil rare. So there you go. We got a foil grim horror spec. Horror specs. So it's a 3-2 uh, with morph. Whenever another non-token creature you control dies, draw a card. So no fetch, but we did get a foil rare. Pretty sweet foil rare out of the pack. Wasn't a foil fetch, unfortunately, but, you know, can't win them all. Can't win them all, right? We're on to uh, 2015 core set now. How we doing here? How we doing? All right. Hot soup coming through. 
Leeching Sliver. Wall of Limbs. And our rare, a Chasm Skulker. I don't know if this guy's got anything uh, interesting or value-wise with him, but uh, he's an, definitely an ugly-looking guy. Look at that guy. <sighs> Would not want to see that guy when I wake up, that's for sure. Hey, we got a Garrick emblem. That's kind of cool. I don't know if any of my uh, patrons would want that in the giveaway, but there you go. That's kind of a cool little emblem. So I'll put that off to the side for now, just because it's kind of a cool thing. We're on to Journey into Nyx, I believe. Yes. Riddle of Lightning. Thethmus High Priest. Brain Maggot. Man, I remember this card being sweet in Limited. This card was so good. And our rare is a Ferris Band War Chief. 3-3, three, three, Vigilance, Trample. Other centaurs you control have plus one, plus one, and Vigilance and Trample as well. Hey, we got a gold token. Gold in a forest. Who doesn't like gold? I mean, seriously. Everyone likes a little bit of gold here and there, right? That's why no one ever complains when you guild them, right? Ever. Never. Kraken of the Straits. Ragemonger, Vortex Elemental, and Faded Return. One of the Faded Rares. Um, they printed or faded for each color in this set. And there's the black one. Another garbage card, and a forest. Theros is next, so we're looking for, what, one of the gods, or... Um, uh, Elspeth, or um, Thoughtseize. I think that's what we're looking for. So we want to see it here. Last time we opened a Theros pack, we got a Thoughtseize, so hey. Tormented Hero. Trident Tactics. Insatiable Harpy. And Titan of Eternal Fire. That is not anything of interest, let me tell you. A little soldier token with a mountain. My favorite set. Everyone's favorite set, right? Dragon Maze. It's so full of value. Everyone loves this set. It is like the best set that a Wizards has ever printed. Definitely um, way better than all those other ones. Unflinching Courage. Ascended Law Mage. Crassus Incubation. And our rare. We're looking for, like, voice. So we need to be multicolor, which it is. Oh. Oh, it's a split guard. Beck and Call. Beck... And call. I think this is actually still worth a couple dollars. Maybe not. I don't know. It's been a while since I've looked at the prices of Dragon Maze cards. Um, Simic Guildgate. Nothing exciting there. And a Rhino Token. Woo! Return to Ravnica. Let's see what we can find in our return to Ravnica. Race Course Fury. Rakdos Charm. This card was a pain in uh, Limited. I hated it so much. Is it Static Caster? And our rare? It's green. Cost four. What do we think? A Dead Bridge Goliath. Nothing to write home about there either. However, Scavenge. Scavenge was pretty sweet in... Uh, uh, the return to Ravnica block. So, there you have it, everybody. Nothing too exciting, but we did get a foil rare out of cons. That's pretty sweet. Um, and we did get this Garrick emblem token, which is pretty cool. I don't even think I have one of these, personally. But, um, so that's kind of cool. So I might put that in the patron giveaway. I don't know. We'll see. Um, and nothing really super interesting of note in here. That's unfortunate. But, uh, there you have it. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. I would really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to check out my store, nerdvanastore.ca, as well as my Patreon, in case you want to get discount codes to those singles that you might buy. As well as, uh, I have things like grab bags and stuff like that. If you don't know what the grab bag is, there's definitely a video that I have on YouTube that, that, that specifies what the grab bag is and all of that goodness. Uh, and Patreon explains it as well, so if you check out the tiers there, you can definitely take it a look. So thanks so much for watching, everybody, and as always, may your pulls ever be better.